Law enforcement agencies are examining how troopers and deputies patrol our roads. In the wake of Deputy Mason Moore's tragic death last May, authorities are taking a closer look at how these officers stay safe while patrolling solo. Does that bother me and does that scare me as a sheriff? Absolutely. I mean, that could have been one of my deputies. Montana's Gallatin County, 2,600 square miles, an area twice the size of Rhode Island and just 36 sheriff's deputies to patrol it, each one riding alone. For instance, if you get called out to a bar fight or a domestic disturbance in Big Sky, your nearest backup is either coming from West Yellowstone or Bozeman. So you're talking a half an hour. It was just last May when Broadwater County Sheriff's Deputy Mason Moore was tragically shot and killed while patrolling alone along this stretch of Highway 287. It's left many wondering, how can the authorities keep our deputies and troopers safe? And a big part of it is relying on surrounding law enforcement. Um, the fortunate thing is, is we work very closely with the Sheriff's Office, the Police Departments, uh, MSUPD, Fish and Game, Forest Service. Um, we can all hear each other. Um, so when something large occurs, um, everybody can respond to that and essentially back each other up. Going solo isn't out of the ordinary. For Montana Highway Patrol and the Gallatin County Sheriff's deputies, it's the norm. Yeah, especially for the county. It's just, um, that's that's the way our schedule's set up. And it'd actually be odd to ride with somebody unless you're on training or something. It's always in the back of your mind, especially when you know there's certain situations where maybe no one's close at all. And I think it, it definitely is something you think about, but at the same time, you know, if you have to go do somebody or somebody needs help, you gotta, you gotta go. So I think you just remember that and do what you can to keep yourself as safe as possible. But what if Deputy Moore wasn't alone that day? He did everything by the book. And that that's the thing that probably makes me the sickest as a sheriff is, um, there are some things that we absolutely don't control. And, uh, you know, looking at the case and everything that happened from it, uh, if there were two deputies in that car, we might have had two dead deputies. So that's a tough thing, you know, especially for a boss. For a leader, it's tough to not control and make sure that your people are safe all the time, uh, every shift. And, uh, but we do the best that we can. Sheriff Goodkin says it would be impossible to cover the entire county if deputies were partnered. And while they did add two deputies in 2015, adding enough to pair them up would be a significant expense to the county taxpayers. Instead, they use training techniques like crisis intervention training, along with interpersonal skills to communicate in hostile situations. While law enforcement agencies throughout Montana are reviewing what happened to Deputy Moore and finding ways that they can improve their emergency responses, they won't forget that day in May. Deputy Moore's death is still being reviewed by law enforcement agencies as they look for ways to improve their response efforts and keep themselves and their communities safe.